Hey all, welcome back. Um, I forgot to cover this in the last part. You should still be able to find this by Googling it, but in case you're wondering where I'm getting the list of patents and uh, so forth, and there's links on this page to go into a lot more detail, um, I've gone to Engadget.com slash 2010 slash 03 slash 2 Apple dash versus dash HTC dash A dash patent dash breakdown slash just so y'all know so y'all can look at the same stuff I'm looking at here we were up to patent 5 system and method for managing patents so finally 25% into the patents. We come to one patent that has any validity whatsoever against hardware manufacturing, which is what HTC is. This patent references digital camera power management. This was granted a decade ago, in 1999. This patent also, I think, is largely unenforceable in its current form. Again, ideas aren't patentable. I don't, a lot, that's a misconception a lot of people have. They think, I have this idea, it's patented. No. I have an idea, now I want to patent it, I whittle it down to the very specific way in which I do it. If my idea is so unique that it can be done in no other way whatsoever, then I make a killing. If my idea can be duplicated without doing it the exact same way I do it, then it does not violate my patent. What this patent has to do is with digital camera devices, uh, it's power management. Basically, the state of what's going on is fed to a processor that then says, turn this off, turn this on, turn this off, this should be at 50% power, yada yada and so forth so that no power is being used that shouldn't be used. That's an idea. That's not a patent. Uh, this makes reference to sending the data to a processor, but that's how every computer executes instructions. The processor is the brain of a computer. I take info, data, bits, input, send it through things, ultimately at some point it goes to the processor that then makes decisions based on the input. I, because this is so broad, this is another one I think is going to be weakened or taken away from Apple as this case persists. As long as HTC did their power management differently than the iPhone does its power management or as Apple's digital camera device patent, this isn't actually an iPhone device, it's a digital camera patent, my guess is this patent will be whittled down to be, okay, Apple, how do you manage your power things? You know, in the initial case findings, and they'll whittle it down and they'll go, okay, we manage it in this very specific way. Why the patent office didn't do this before they granted your patent, Lord only knows, but we're going to do it now. We're going to do their job for them. And then all HTC or any manufacturer will have to do is prove that they do it differently. And if they happen to do it the same, they'll go, well, I guess we're in violation. But, Your Honor, how could we have possibly known we're in violation? They didn't disclose how they did it in their patent, which is, again, you know, it's a mix. You don't want to give away trade secrets in your patents, but sometimes you have to. Um, automated response of a sensor using activity. Okay, this patent could be directed at a hardware manufacturer and could be directed at a software patent. Software sorry. This should be sued against Android also. But what this has to do with is on the iPhone, when you take it and put it up to your face, it has this little sensor on it that turns the screen off. This is an HTC phone by the way, all. Now let's observe. I am taking a phone and I'm putting it up to my... Oh, look, it's still on. Let's see, if I put it closer to my face, is it still on? Oh, no, yeah, it's still on. It's still on. Did it go off? Nope. So, HTC doesn't do that. 
I'm sorry I don't have the actual phone running it, but that phone doesn't do that either. What happens is, when it doesn't get any input for a while, it times out. This patent is specifically referencing a sensor on the phone to turn it off. The Android phones do that differently. One of the updates in version 2 is that the touch screen is artificially made less sensitive so it doesn't mistake my face or whiskers as something touching it. You know, it looks for specific shapes, like a finger. Which is why if you take string cheese out of the fridge, if it's too cold to use your, if you're in an environment where it's too cold to use your touch screen and you stick it on, that will also work on an Android device. But see, it eventually times out the screen. It doesn't actually do it based on sensors. So again, this patent has not been violated and has no validity in this case. Which is something I'm sure HTC's lawyers will point out. And if Google does inevitably get sued using the same 20 BS patents, <laughs> that's not. So, so far, we haven't come across one valid patent that'll hold up in a court of law. Moving on. GMSK signal processor for improved communications capacity and quality. This was granted in 1998, and uh, basically, this has already baffled other people. And nobody's really clear what this patent was for, so there may be one patent here. This has bamboozled more lawyers in our side. This is an overly technical patent, and basically, nobody really knows what this patent covers. <laughs> So, I guess they might have one valid patent. There's another patent nobody really knows what it covers. Covering power, sorry, concerning, oh wait a minute, this one is the other one. Yeah, this one is broad and overly technical. Covering power by reducing voltage supplied to an instruction processor portion of a processor. Now, again, we covered that in the other patent dealing with power management and processors. This is kind of how all computers work. It's more an idea thing. So that's probably why it's so overly technical. But as long as HTC did it even slightly different, they're not in violation of the patent. But even highly technical people really aren't sure what this patent covers, so... Now, the next one's funny. Object-Oriented Graphics Center. In case you don't know what this is, this is the old 1995 patent. This is before Steve Jobs came back to the company. It's before the iPhone was even a gleam in Apple's eye. And this specifically references, uh, basically, this was just thrown into Ed Cannon's honor. It's technical to the point where nobody's really exactly sure what it covers, although having gone over and read this thing, it's back of the days where Apple was trying to claim, we invented the technical GUI. Uh, which is neither true nor specifically relevant here. And the fact that this is dated 1995 has to do with another thing, which is... Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, patents actually expire, and we are in 2010. So... Yeah. Coming up on time here, so peace out all. See you on the next part, and we'll get more into I am Apple and I invented everything. <laughs>